Hello, this is Pickleton, and welcome back to Let's Play Disgaea Afternoon of Darkness. So since last time, I got a uh, double slap for my brawler, and as you can see, it's got arms masters, gladiators, and marksmen. Now you don't really need to worry about your other specialists on your weapon, you just need to make sure you've got the arms masters. Uh, the double slap and the knight's lance are 200-ish uh, hell, so make sure you get those. Now for the brawler, as you can see the brawler has 50% aptitude with defense. So that means that we're probably not going to want to give her any armor. Now you might be thinking, well how is she going to live? Well there's other items that I can give her that'll help to increase her survivability. Whereas the Warrior has 100% defense aptitude, so I'm, I'm going to want to give her all a good amount of armor. So I'm going to give her this bulletproof vest that I got. As you can see, it's got eight arm masters. So that combines, actually, so now it's like she has 14 arms masters. So she would get 14% weapon growth. And the reason why I'm giving, uh, making sure to give a lot of arms masters to my warrior is because, well, even the other person I'm going to be having use spears later as well is going to have a very low counter attack rate. Uh, so I can't just throw them into the middle of the enemy and they'll get a bunch of counters off and get a ton of weapon experience like I can with my fist users. So this is the first level of Vyre's Castle. As you can see, there's a huge trap area in the back there with enemy boost times three. That will triple the stats of all enemies. You can't see it on the stat screen, but trust me, they will do a lot more damage. And the source of it is coming from right here. So what we could do, uh, technically, is we could take this blue one here, the experience plus 50%, throw it on there, destroy one of them, it doesn't really matter which one, and it'll cause a double chain that will kill most of those guys, I believe all the ghosts except for the ones outside of the area, and we don't want that. Well, I don't want that, because I'm not going to be using this for farming or grinding. If, uh, if you're not, if you're playing this at home and you don't really mind, or you're not, you know, doing a challenge run like I am, yeah, have at it. Just destroy the thing, it'll wipe out most of the enemies on the map. You just finish the map, get all your items, wash, rinse, repeat, do that a couple times, get a ton of money, and give you a nice head start. Okay, so what I'm gonna be trying to give my warrior and brawler as much experience as possible. I want them to hit level 5. Um, pretty much my goal right now is to have them hit level 5 by the end of the chapter. Actually, by the end of the third stage of this chapter. So let's bring Edna over there and get a team attack. She's not quite in range. Okay, so I'll just show you a little thing. If you bring a character into the base panel, like have them move into the base panel, it will refresh their movement. Uh, one point to note, though, is that by doing so, you lose the ability to uh, reset your movement back to where you originally were. It will bring you back to the base panel. So, a little bit of a good thing, a little bit of a bad thing. Uh, I was hoping I would not have Laharl in on this team attack, but looks like I don't really have a choice. Uh, Alright. Move you over there. Pretty much Laharl, with those Imperial Seals, he will be absolutely godly. Uh, Laharl will be keeping... Pretty much the only equipment I will ever put on him is going to be uh, emblems. That's the item type of the Imperial Seal. Now, I don't want to move him there, because these guys here, there's one on each side, and they have a movement range of four. So that will take them just around the corner of that wall there. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want 
to meet them and counter them. So I'll throw you there. I think I should be able to kill them with a counterattack. And I'm not going to defend. Because if you defend, it lowers your counter by two. It doesn't remove your ability to counter, it only lowers it by two. So if you once you do have characters with more than more than two, so three plus counters, you can have them defend and they will still counter. Bam! Level two. Okay, so I'm gonna move Laharl over here. Have him defend to lure out the enemy. Alright, now if I bring in my other characters, I think a team attack with those three should be enough to finish them off. Oh, just barely. I think he had 20 health. Um, yeah, I guess move over there. Move over there, and... Okay, let's do it. No, not quite. Okay, perfect, actually. That, that ends up working out in my favor. So I'm going to move Laharl out here to kind of tank the enemy there. That guy in the back there, the Red Skull, will do a lot of damage. Mages are very powerful in this game. Or, well, magic in general. If you, uh, if you match up elemental weaknesses, it can get pretty obscene. You guys will see in Chapter 3? I think chapter 3 is when I'm going to start really laying into the enemy with magic. So what you could do here, if even if you're playing the way I am, you could have someone go back and destroy that Geo symbol to get a little... I think you get like maybe one more item, but I don't really want to spend two turns walking all the way back. So anyways, that's going to be where I finish. I'm just about out of time. So, you can just hit the X or the square button, that'll heal everybody. Don't have enough for anything there. But, do we have. I don't know, I've got enough time for another one. Wow! This is a pretty nice place. Oh, that vase would sell for a lot. Cool. That makes Wait, us face? thieves. Is it Vase I or Vaz? The name of the Overlord. I have to be impartial and impartial and what? Plunder everything. Oh, that's our prince. You're so ruthless. Hey there, you atrocious fiend! You cold-blooded monster! <laughs> I like Etna's Demon among demons. It's so much better than the PS2, mm. I think. Quit complimenting me so much. It's embarrassing. This is the pretty listen, cheer squad. I want you to pillage and plunder anything and everything in this castle. Aye, aye, dude. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to be leaving most of this stage up to my brawler and warrior. Because, yeah, I mean, look at Lahar and are already level 4. They don't need anything else. I think the enemy's on the final level of this chapter, level 5. If even that. I think that might be, like, level 3. There's just a lot of them. Get in range. 
probably move out Lahara and Etna, just because I don't really want to waste turns bringing them out. I mean, your, like, your final turn count has no bearing on anything. If you press triangle, it'll tell you what your, how many turns you've spent, but I don't think there is any real reason that you'd want to do that. Okay, let's move them there. If we move them here, there's the defense plus 50% and attacks plus 1 panels. If we move them here, then they will not stand up. We want to use those for ourselves. I just hope my brawler can uh, survive on there. Okay, so I don't want them to team attack, that's why I moved the Etna. And do that, and then I want these two to team attack. If I can. If they do, that'd be nice. If not, oh well. Damn it. Damn it. Brawler's getting all the kills. <laughs> Poop. Alright, I actually want to move them on here. Have them defend. Okay, there we go. We good. So yeah, I'm just basically luring them out. I'll finish this. God. <laughs> uh, with all that armor on Etna. I mean, it's the weakest armor in the game, but you know, stick three of them on her. And stick it on a 50% defense tile. Okay, so the attacks plus one should help us out. I have Etna and Laharl defend because that'll probably lure out those little fairy guys. Double attack. Oh, really? Oh, really? Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, that'll kill him. Ouch. Ouch. Alright, brawler. You can do it. Oh, wait. Yeah. You can do it. You need to catch up. Oh, wow. She's already pretty behind. If I let him counterattack, that might not finish him. Or maybe it will. Okay, move you there. I'll get you the kill. Maybe team attack, maybe not. There we go. So what awaits in the next place? We'll see. So first let's heal up. Ooh, I got a prize, but I'll get that prize next time. So anyways, this is where I'm going to be ending my Let's Play for today. So this has been Pickleton with some Let's Play Disgaea, signing off. Take it easy, everybody.